Hey guys, welcome to yet another OBS Studio tutorial by Kalancho Productions. In today's video, we will take a closer look at an image slideshow. Image slideshow is very similar to a widget from Streamlabs that's called Panzer Banner, uh, but still there are some unique functions that you only get with a sponsor banner and then there are some unique features that you only get with the image slideshow so if you would like to check out the tutorial on the sponsor banner that i made the link is popping up in the right corner but for now let's focus on the image slideshow let's go ahead and create a new source and let's start by adding some images now when you press the plus button you get two options you can either add files or add a directory when you add files, you will have to select each file one by one. When you add a directory, it will let you choose a folder and whatever is in that folder will be used for the image slideshow. For me personally, I've always used add directory. Um, yeah, it's the simplest way. You can just create a folder on your PC, add whatever you want in that image slideshow. And it also makes your job easier when you try to add in images or remove images. You don't have to go every time to the properties of the image slideshow and do everything manually. So I would suggest to go with add directory, but of course you can also uh, do it one by one. So let's actually go ahead and add a new directory. I've already prepared a folder with some social media icons. So here we go. And now in the properties, you've got a couple of uh, settings that you can tweak. Let's start with the visibility behavior. I think you've got three options here. You've got always play even when not visible. Then you've got stop when not visible, restart when visible, and then pause when not visible and unpause when visible. So the first one is pretty self-explanatory, always play even when not visible, which means it will just keep on going, keep on looping. Uh, stop when not visible and restart when visible. Let me show you how that looks. So if you switch to a different scene, for example, that does not uh, have this particular source, for example, let me switch to the second scene right here. The image slideshow will start from the first image in the slideshow every time you switch back to this scene. However, if you go with pause when not visible and unpause when visible, uh, let me show you how that looks. So. Um, we'll wait a couple of seconds until it switches to the next icon, which is the Instagram icon, if I'm correct. And now when I switch to the scene and then I switch back, the Instagram icon stays there and the playback does not start uh, from the beginning. So this depends uh, on how you want your image slideshow to actually behave, of course. Then you've got the slide mode. You can go with automatic or manual. So if you go with automatic, you don't have to take care of anything. It will just keep on switching, but you can also take manual control of the actual uh, image slideshow. So if you create hotkeys somewhere on your keyboard or using your stream deck, you can manually decide which image will be shown. Transition, you can go with fade, swipe, slide, or cut. Cut means no transition. It will basically just switch to uh, the next image without uh, any animations, of course. Let me show you how that looks. There you go. Then you've got the fade uh, transition. Let me actually uh, lower the time uh, of the transition so we don't spend uh, much time on it. As you can see, this was the fade. Then you've got the swipe, which looks like this. And then you've got the slide which looks like this and that leads us to those two uh, columns right here so time between slides uh, is of course you know the time of each image that's um, gonna be uh, displayed so right uh, now it's 3000 milliseconds which is three seconds and then you can also choose the transition speed so our transition is slide as you can see right now it's on 700 so the higher you go, I think the slower it gets, of course. So I will up it up to 1.5 and the transition will happen slower. So you can also customize the actual speed of everything. Uh, loop option. Uh, if you uncheck this, the slideshow will play out and then it will stop at the last image and it will just be on uh, or it will just stay on that last image. Uh, 
And yeah, if you would like to hide the slideshow when it's done, this is the option to go with. And then you can also randomize the playback. So right now the order is exactly the same order that's in the actual folder. Uh, but if you would like to randomize the playback, which means it will just jump from one random image to another uh, random image, uh, you can also do that. And then lastly, bundling size aspect ratio. I would just leave this on automatic. You can change it to any other dimension, but yeah, automatic will just do the best job. And then of course, if you would like to remove some images, you highlight uh, the image or the folder and press the minus button. And that's basically it guys, so pretty simple to use. Once again, you also have the option to go with a sponsor banner. I've done a tutorial on that already, as I told you, so make sure you check it out. And besides that, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I will do my best to answer as soon as possible. And I will see you very soon with another tutorial. Bye-bye.